Hey you guys, I need a project for this week. So I decided to go with this round drill. Um, it's a really quickly, um, a snack size, fast, lots of color blocking. And I already did an unboxing of this. So I only have in, in here the drills and the sticker sheets. I'm gonna use my Elizabeth Ward system this time, even though it's just a few colors because it's my favorite system. I already have the canvas in a, in my closet, so it's nice and stretched out and flat by the time I get to it. This is just 18 colors. So nice, fast, easy. So let's get to it. I will be working with this one throughout the week. Hopefully I can do some check-ins. I've already explained that when I do these paintings, I do them while I work since I work for a call center at home. And in between some calls or when I'm repeating myself because some customers need to send over some paperwork and I give them addresses and stuff. So while people are getting their pens, papers, or <clears throat> and we got some static while i'm working i get to diamond paint and um that's why i get to do so many and i need something to do this week because i already finished my leopard and tree leaves from sheen square diamond painting and last week was a very busy week at work, so I had to use some of my Saturday oh, 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 to complete the painting. They're flying everywhere. So I don't like to do that. I want to do it while I work. So I grabbed this easy one that by Friday I sh for sure should have finished it already, especially because there's so much um, color blocking. There was not that many confetti. So I should be able to finish it. And you would think that this painting is something that I wouldn't have chosen for myself. And I think the same thing. This came in my mystery clearing spot from Diamond Art Club. And even though I would have not chosen this for myself, um, I'm going to put it in my daughter's room on her wall. So I'm still going to do it. And... I mean, I got it. I'm going to do it. Nothing gets wasted here or just thrown in my closet. If I got it, I'm doing it. The bad thing about these big bags on this tiny quantity is the static. Okay, let's do number three, three, four. And it has... 1AB, I think this one, 1AB, and a special diamond. Number three, three, four. Four fifteen. So I want to do a check-in during the week what I completed my first day of work so you guys can see how much I get done while I'm working. So hopefully when I clock out from work I'm not as desperate to leave <laughs> my office and I can do a check-in and then Oops, we have one lost here. I probably won't need it, but. And then since I want to do like some sort of checkings during the week so you guys can see how much I've completed. Um, hopefully I don't, I remember. And then I'll post what I'll do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday. And hopefully I don't even need to diamond paint on Friday. But my shifts are longer when I don't have something to do. Okay. 
Yeah, they have a lot of static, especially because there's, the bags are so big. This is $8.92, right? $8.92, yes. This is number 13. Next, 775. So even though I got this in the mystery kit, it was a clearance mystery kit. So everything that you got was going to be a clearance item from the website of Diamond Art Club. And I think I got lucky with my box. I've seen other boxes with a lot of superheroes which again i would have done gladly thank you but i don't have anything to do with them so i would have just put it in my storage um where all of them are instead of post putting them in my wall or example this one this is something that i would not have picked for myself but since i got it i'll just put it in my daughter's room and i'll post that in the end the completion in the end this is number three so stay tuned for that 8.94 and i should go quickly because this is all color blocking color blocking basically there's just a little bit here of um color change because i can't call the conf that confetti and honestly it's a relief after doing so many um paintings square dry, diamond painting with so much confetti it's nice to you know take these take it slow with these type and i really appreciate it especially if it's busy at work 783 these um doing diamond painting while i work gets me um relaxed it helps me with those difficult calls it helps me for time to go faster because um my job is not like a back-to-back -back type of call center um we do get have those days but it's not common i have some minutes in between and this is where i do my diamond painting and if i didn't have this it would be so difficult and because time would just go um, slower 3782 so I'm glad that I have this hobby that I can do this from from home and some people are working all day and they they come home they have to do their chores and bear you barely get to do a tiny square and I feel that I'm very blessed that I'm able to complete these paintings not only just a single square but I can do like a 30 by 40 in a whole week if it's not as busy at work. This is one of those um, fairy dust, round fairy dust, Z726. I love these. I love how easy they are to cling to your pens if it's either wax or tag or whatever you're using to, to pick up the drills in your pen. They work fantastically. I also love that how beautiful they look on a painting. And don't get me wrong, the ABs are magical. They just give pops to a painting. It makes it pop very beautifully, but they're kind of hard to work with. I haven't still gotten used to them. And especially if you have a big section, you can't multi-place as easy as with the regular drills or these fairy dust ones. So it takes you longer to complete a painting if it has too much ABs. So that's why I like these fairy dust. They're easy to work with. And they, the turnout and the payoff, the painting is 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 good. It's not as pretty as the Abora. I have to accept that, but 
they get the job done. 718. Ooh, this color is very pretty. It's like a magenta. Come on. There you go. This is number 10. Some thirty-eight sixty-five. I was not gonna open this one because I thought I had some, but I have some in square, not in round. Cause if I already have a bag open, I'm just not gonna. You know, I have some in my storage, especially three tens. I'll just leave them there and use the one I have in storage. But I don't have this one, so never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. Three ten. This is number four. Three ten is his eyes and his mouth. Number four. All right. Next we have four thirty four, and we have a leftover drill there. Four three four is number seven. Last week, my my diamond painting that I completed last week, I kitted up on Sunday as well. Today is Sunday 15, and that one I kitted up on Sunday, October 8. It was a disaster. I mixed some colors, and then I had to unmix them. If you want to go ahead and watch that video, I, I have it on my channel. I can link it. It was a disaster. I don't know what happened to me because this is my favorite part of diamond painting, the kitting out process. 3608, does that fit there? And it has some static, you can see. They are already clinging to the plastic. Let me blow some air. Come on, come on. Nope, nope. There we go. Look how much they jump. Oh my goodness. Everybody's in there, number 15. Number 113 is an AB. And I believe this is the only AB on the painting.
and then 157. Let's use the big boy for this one. Lots of 310 residue. <laughs> Lots of static as well on that bag. And I think this one fits as well. This is all that background. Come on, everybody, come on. And we have an intruder here. Let's take that one out. Looks like a 310. Oh my God, check how much they jump everywhere. I'm so grateful is just a 18 color painting because I can't do this with a 65 color or 50 color. It it would be take me forever. It will annoy me and I would just stop. <laughs> there you go. Come on, everybody. Everybody's going in. Everybody. So three, two, five, six, seven, eight. This one is number nine. So it'll go up here. That way I don't have to take these out. There we go. Are you hearing my toddler yelling for her dad? is basically the ears and the face the actual mouth mouse is the actual mouse this one wasn't that bad
Alrighty, let me get the canvas. Alrighty, it's a 17 by 13 inches. And it looks like our AB113, it's the ears, the inside of the ears. That's going to be our AB and our fairy dust, which is number 18, will be the pants. And I think it's adorable. <laughs> I can't wait to finish it. I will definitely show um, the result in the end. And hopefully I can do some checkings during the week. So let's look out for that. And look at all of that static. Let me get some dryer sheets. Okay. So I heard that these work really well. I've never tried them, so let's see. I'm gonna put a big piece in there. And I think it did work. Oh no, not yet. All right, and So hopefully that works. Alrighty guys, so stay tuned. You guys, look what I did. Look what I did. This whole column. Um, today is a Sunday. Immediately after I get it up, um, I just spent some time with my family and then I decided to sit down and diamond paint. And I don't know how I did this. And you can hear my toddler in the background. But yeah. So um, tomorrow I'll be doing his face, his clothes, and his little hair piece. Or maybe should I just leave that to the end and then do this whole part? Who knows? Who knows? I'll decide in the morning. But yeah, this is the progress. I think I'll finish this by Tuesday. <laughs> I don't know. Who knows? But I'll keep you in the check-ins, I'll keep you updated, and thanks for watching. Hey you guys, it's Monday after work, and um, I did this, this part right here today while I was working. I think I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit more, because this part sounds fun, or I'll just leave this part for last. I don't know what to do. But I'm loving it so far. Here is how the fairy dust is looking like. And then the ABs are in her ears and her tail. And I love the little heart. Definitely will be putting this in my daughter's room, in my toddler's room. So hopefully you guys like it. Hopefully I can do another check-in tomorrow. Okay, so I have finished. This is how it turned out. And I love it. It's so cute, tiny, beginner friendly, nothing too complicated. If you're a beginner, um, if you want to practice your placement, um, it also it's also helpful if you want to practice your with your 10 placer, your nine placer. It's great for that. Um, I love the pants. I already said that. And it's really cute. Thank you so much.